Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and um, it's 7.30 p.m. Wednesday, November 6, 2019. I'm at the Walmart parking lot making this video, and I was going to film my videos like over an hour ago, but um, my glasses fell, and the lens came out, and my frames broke, so I'd get my lens back. I lost it in the mud, so we had to find it, and then, you know, we had to like get some super glue and stuff. I'm going to try to go to Tulsa and get some new frames, hopefully soon, you know. Uh, but anyway, um, today I'm going to be trying a new root beer drink. Um, I found it a few days ago when I was in Okima. At this one, like, gas station called Fiesta Mart that was connected to a McDonald's, you know. Forgot to mention that was the gas station where I found the Manzanita Soul in my last video. But, um, they had this there for around $2. Uh, it seemed, like, interesting. It looked interesting, you know. Um, anyway, but today I'm going to be trying the... I think it's pronounced Sioux, the Sioux City Sar Saparilla, the granddaddy of all root beers. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hopefully, I'm gonna try to get some better lighting. If I show it right here. Oh yeah, boys, oh yeah. But anyway, has a red lid, it says Sioux City. Sar Saparilla. A little bit hard to pronounce, you know. Here's the bottle. Shows a guy in like a saloon door, you know. The granddaddy of all root beers. 12 fluid ounces, 355 milliliters, made with cane sugar. And around the top of the bottle it says the Sioux City. A little bit hard to see it. But anyway has SKU, www.SiouxCityBeverages.com. Phone number is 800-959-ROCK. Caffeine-free. Some recycling stuff and the other ingredients. Distributed by White Rock Products Corp. Whitestone, New York, 11357. CT559. Nutrition facts, serving size 1 bottle. Amount per serving calories 170. Total fat, 0 grams, 0%. Sodium, 45 milligrams, 2%. Total carbs, 42 grams, 14%. Sugars, 42 grams. Protein, 0 grams, 0 percent. So, yeah, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But anyway, I'll let you see it right quick. Trying to show it to you the best I can, you know. And the bottom is just... Uh, Clear, you know, and it's a root beer, so it's like a dark brown colored liquid. So, you know, but anyway, I'm gonna shake it up a little bit, open it, taste it, and give my review for it. So, hold on a minute. I'm trying to get my lighting back fixed. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. Okay, I opened it, inside the lid is like nothing. Okay, I opened it, it's like smoking a little bit, but anyway, the smell, um. It smells like root beer, but it smells like a different. It smells like sort of like a um. Like a Christmassy type drink, you know? It smells like one of those stores I used to go to with my mom and dad and my brother in Branson, Missouri. It's like a gift shop thing. It had like a lot of like Thanksgiving and like Christmas stuff, you know? Like Santa ornaments and like Santa figures and like cinnamon nutmeg like type of smell. And like um smells like Thanksgiving, you know, and like Christmas. Very like, you know, holiday scented. Doesn't really smell like a root beer. Normal root beer is like a vanilla like sort of smell. I don't even know if this has vanilla in it. It was a pure cane sugar, caramel color, natural artificial flavor. This kind doesn't have any vanilla in it. So, you know. Yeah, it definitely doesn't smell like a normal root beer. It smells more like, um, like a Thanksgiving type of beverage, you know. Like a very, like a strong, like, holiday scent, you know. Smells a little bit like, um, the Rockstar Horchata that was discontinued. And, um, 
a little bit like that pumpkin pie soda I've had before by Lester's Fixins. It smells a little bit like that, you know, has like a pumpkin spice type of smell. So, you know, very like, you know, festive smelling. But anyway, and I'm gonna try it, so here goes. Start foaming up. Very sweet. Yeah, it does taste like root beer. But yeah, it does have like a cinnamony or like a nutmeg or pumpkin spice type of taste to it. So it tastes like very like holiday, you know. Really lit. Really lit. It's actually really good. Even though it doesn't have like vanilla in it like normal root beers nowadays have. Like A&W root beer and the Barks root beer and stuff. Still pretty good and pretty lit, you know. It says it's the granddaddy of all root beers. So, you know, I guess it's like vintage, you know. Like, I guess the first root beer, I'm not for sure. Maybe one of the firsts. But yeah, it's actually really pretty good. Pretty lit. Definitely tastes like root beer, like a sweet root beer. But it does have like a little bit of a nutmeg or like cinnamony, like pumpkin spice type of like flavor to it. And smell, you know. So yeah, it's definitely interesting. Pretty lit. Anyway, I'd probably give the Sioux City Sar Separilla. I'd probably give it like a um, 9 out of 10. It's actually pretty good. Um, it doesn't taste like the root beers nowadays, you know. It does taste similar, but um, it has more like a, like a holiday spice type of taste. Compared to like a vanilla type of taste, you know. Yeah, it's still pretty good though. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, boys. It's lit. It's lit. It's lit. Just saying. Definitely try to give it a 9 out of 10. See you in more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.